this video, I am going to show you a tool called Spark Toro. You can get to it at sparktoro.com. And it's a, it does require a login, so you do need to create an account. And once you do that, you can do some searches here. Uh, you can do some audience research. It does have some paid options. You're gonna obviously get more information when you do the paid options, but this is a really good way to get started with your audience research. You're still gonna to need to do some more in-depth research, but this is, again, this is a good place to get started. So what Spark Tarot lets you do is do some searches based on what your audience talks about, what words are in their profile, what social accounts they follow, what websites they visit, uh, what hashtags they use. And you can also analyze the information for a specific website or social account. So if you already have some idea of who your competitors are for your target audience, so for example, if you're creating a coffee shop, your competitors are gonna be places like Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, um, any local coffee shops that you've got, you can actually search uh, their social um, and their website. So you can look at that. But let's say that I'm doing some research on uh, I'm going to create a, a, a website or I'm going to create a, a business about uh, nutrition. And so my audience frequently talks about nutrition. I'm going to do a search here. And maybe I'm doing some coaching for nutritionists uh, or people that talk about nutrition. Um, and you can see I've already run this search, so I've, I did a little checking into it, but I, I chose nutrition in particular because I'm gonna show you some more in-depth data if you were to upgrade for a paid plan and because they have a free search for this. So anyway, um, so you can see if, if, my, if I know my target audience is nutritionists, these are some things that people that have that word nutrition uh, in their social accounts or anything like that. They're also talking about, uh, or they're in their bios, they're going to have things like dietitian, nutritionist, registered dietitian. Here are some hashtags that they're using. And then here are some phrases that they're using on their social media. So things like health benefits, healthy eating, uh, physical activity, and things like that. We can also see any social accounts that they follow or some of the social accounts they follow. It's not gonna give us all of them, but I can see their social results. So if I click here to see all social results, it's not gonna show me all of them because I'm using a free account, but it's gonna show me uh, several of them. So I can do a little bit of research uh, by looking at these social accounts and seeing what kind of information they're sharing uh, and what their, what their stuff looks like, what their graphics look like, and things like that to get some idea of the types of things that people who have that word uh, in their social profiles or that they're talking about nutrition, some things that they would be interested in. Another thing that I can do is look at their demographics. Over here on the left, I can click on demographics. Uh, now, because I'm in a free account, it doesn't let me see a lot of information about it. So um, I, I, it's all kind of blurred out. But again, the reason that I chose nutrition is because there is a free query. So we can see a free full query here for nutritionist. So if I click on that, then we can see the demographics uh, so it's going to show me the, jo the job roles and fields, the employer industries, the years of experience. Uh, but it also goes a little deeper into things like their skills and interest, their gender and age. So I know if I'm trying to uh, work with nutritionists, if, if that's my target audience, if I've got like a really rough idea and I'm trying to narrow down my target audience, then I might want to consider adding that they're female. Uh, and that they're between the ages of 26 and 50, or even 26 and 35, or 36 to 50, depending on who it is that you wanna work with. Uh, and, then, and then again, I can drill down into the education. So um, this is also useful if you're trying to create an ideal customer avatar, but I, I would prefer to use this for the sort of more broad, slightly more broad target audience. Uh, but we can see here that the education is mostly bachelors, but you do have a relatively educated bunch here. You've got, you know, almost half of them have a bachelor's and almost a fourth of them have a master's degree. So that's that's pretty educated. And you've got five 5.1% have doctorate, doctorate. So that's, again, pretty educated group. It even goes into things like geography and 
politics. So if you're if you're interested, if that's something that that's on your uh, horizon, if you're if you're looking at you want to work with specific political leaning activities, then you can even go that deep into the research. It also shows you what websites they visit. So if we go over here on websites, you can see a lot of them. Um, they're very scientifically minded, so they're going to PubMed uh, with NIH. Um, and this is, again, this is some more research. So they're they're doing research on these uh, journal sites and scientific sites. So that's, that's another thing. Again, they are very highly educated, so it makes sense that they would be looking at that kind of information. So the, again, this is a really good tool for getting started. Uh, I would check it out if you're just getting started with your target audience research or even your ICA and you're not really sure where to start, you can start with something like SparkToro. There are other tools out there like it. Uh, this is just the one that, that I've been playing around with and I really like what information it returned. So take a look at it and let me know if you find it useful. Um, share your tips with me and I'd love to hear from you and let me know if there's anything else that you want me to show in these videos. Thanks for watching.